Hello, and welcome to the Yurt Pitch Guide companion video by Colorado Yurt Company. The purpose of this video is to give a brief visual overview of the yurt pitching process. This will be a helpful companion to your physical pitch guide, which contains more detailed instructions. With that, let's get started. Before we get started with the pitch guide, there are a few things that should already be done. One, you should have your deck ready and your bender board in place. The back of your pitch guide has plans for a simple yurt deck. Additional plans can be found at our website, www.coloradoyurt.com. In your pitch guide, page two has a complete list of all the tools you'll need on hand. Ranging from ladders, wrenches, drills, pliers, saws, etc. Be sure to have all the items on this list on hand before you begin your pitch. There is also a recommendation for your scaffolding, which will come in handy later when setting the compression ring and the rafters of your yurt. This recommendation gives you the proper dimensions for your scaffolding depending on your yurt size, and a helpful illustration to base your simple scaffolding off of. The first step is to set our lattice wall and doors. You will want to set your doors and place your wall opposite of the door or between the doors if you have multiple. Our pro tip here is to make sure your doors are exactly spaced on the deck by measuring twice. Next, we'll set our doors and adjust our lattice wall height, matching the holes on our lattice wall to the holes on our door jam. Then we'll slide our carriage bolt on through. Consistent lattice wall height at every point of the wall is crucial to ensuring your yurt's fabric will fit right and look great. The first thing we'll do is mark our center positions. This will start from the middle of our door threshold. If you have two doors, these marks will be exactly opposite of each other. In our video, our yurt installation professionals have already marked these prior to installing the doors. Now, locate the center of your lattice wall. This will either be on a crown or between two crowns. Align this with your center marks. Pro tip, if you are in a windy area, we'd recommend securing your lattice to the center point with L brackets before adjusting the height. Now, begin adjusting the height of the lattice wall. Expand or contract the lattice to ensure the wall height is even all the way around. Next, locate your L brackets and attach them through the open rivet holes of your lattice. Begin by placing the hook of the cable above your door header. Be especially careful not to let the cable components obstruct channels on the door header. Place the cable in the top of the lattice all the way around. It's important that your cable is even. This creates equal tension once your roof framework is installed and it impacts the fit and look of your fabric. Before we begin this next step, be sure every member of your team is wearing their hard hat. First, center your scaffolding and adjust its height properly. Next, set your ring on top of your scaffolding with the core brackets pointing down. Map out the position of the first six rafters. You'll want them to be evenly spaced around the yurt. In order to install the rafters, one member of your team will need to be on the scaffold and another on the yurt deck. Your crew member on the deck will hand the top of the first rafter to the person on the scaffold. Then the deck hand will hook their notched end onto the cable with the keeper bolts facing down. Secure these keeper bolts as you go. Your crew member on the scaffolding will guide the rafter into the correct core bracket. Our pro tip here is to slide the rafters in from under the ring. Then they will slide in the bolt and secure the rafter, tightening with wrenches firmly. 
Using the same procedure, bolt another into place a third of the way around. Continue alternating sides and installing rafters. After the first six rafters are installed and secured with bolts, you may remove the top layer of your scaffolding and continue to install rafters. Remember to always alternate sides and place the next rafter in the largest empty section. Finally, adjust the ring into a level position and tighten each bolt firmly one last time. If you are not using a scaffolding in your yurt pitch, our printed yurt pitch guide has an alternative method on pages 8 and 9 for you to follow. If your yurt includes roof insulation, a liner has already been provided. Once your framework is up, carry the liner up on a ladder or on your scaffolding. Unfold the liner over your rafters, spread it out evenly, and tighten the drawstrings. The roof insulation comes in two large accordion sections. Your scaffold crew member and your deck crew member will work together to unfold the insulation, laying it on top of the liner. Here it's helpful to use ropes to hold down the insulation. Carefully maneuver the bundle of fabric up your scaffold or ladder. Our pro tip is to rent or borrow a manual hand lift or portable forklift to raise the fabric roof up to the ring. From the center of your compression ring, begin unrolling your fabric. The half of your fabric labeled front door should roll towards the door at 6 o'clock. The other roll goes towards the back at 12 o'clock. Center yourself in the dome cutout. Unravel the two ropes on the side rolls, tossing them down at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. A crew member on the outside of the yurt will pull these ropes down. Next, center the door cutouts in the valence with the center of your door headers. Be sure to double check that your roof is evenly sitting on your rafters all the way around. At the top of your door cutouts, nine grommets are set in webbing. Center these, aligning the center grommet to the center of the door header, and use the provided one-inch self-tapping screws to secure the roof fabric. You should have multiple wall insulation panels. These panels will overlap about 12 inches when installed, and they include your window panels and solid panels which go between windows. These are numbered sequentially. Start with panel number one to the left of your door. The fabric sewn side of your panel will face towards the inside of the yurt. Have one crew member adjust from the inside, align any windows, and tuck the panels in front of the roof liner. From the outside, another crew member will tuck the bottom between your bender board and lattice wall. We recommend using ropes on the wall insulation to hold them in place during the installation process. The yurt walls are fastened to the roof using a hook and loop system commonly referred to as Velcro. Each yurt wall has a 2 inch loop strip sewn to the top of the wall. This strip fastens to the corresponding 2-inch hook strip sewn onto the bottom of the roof where the yurt wall and roof adjoin under the roof valance. Grommets are located at the bottom of the yurt wall and these will be fastened to the bender board later. Starting from the left of the door, unroll the sections of the wall and join the hook and loop or velcro together. Work the hook and loop strips together ensuring the 2-inch strips are aligned perfectly and pressed together. Repeat this process with any additional wall sections and adjust the hook and loop accordingly to eliminate any bagginess or excessive tension in the wall fabric. Once you are satisfied with the look of the wall fabric, press the hook and loop strips firmly together from the outside, ensuring a strong connection between wall and roof. Next, attach the ends of your fabric to the door jams with the aluminum tracks provided. These are labeled T for the top and B for the bottom and the holes in these tracks will line up with the holes in your door jam. The next step will be to secure your wall to the bender board, alternating grommets until every grommet has a screw. And next, not shown here, secure your valence to the door frame, and lastly, be sure to plumb and square your door.
In your pitch guide, there are detailed instructions for raising and setting your acrylic dome. Be very gentle in this step to ensure you don't abrade the roof. If you're installing a Euro dome lifter, the guide also has instructions and diagrams for that process. Next, we'll plumb and square our door. To do this, you'll use the door rafter to header L brackets in your kit box. There should be two per door. Install these to the top of the header, square to the rafters. Once they've been installed, determine if you need to make any adjustments. After this, be sure to finish securing the door rafter L brackets to the rafters. For more specific instructions, refer to page 17 of your pitch guide. We're almost there. At this point, we have a fantastic looking yurt. Be sure to visit section six of the pitch guide and perform any final tasks that are applicable to your yurt build. This includes tying your cables down to the lattice crown, installing ceiling fan mounts, attaching wind load studs, cisterns, awnings, or even installing glass windows. Thank you so much for watching the Colorado Yurt Pitch Guide video. And congratulations on your new yurt. If you need anything, you can reach us at 970-240-2111 or visit us online at www.coloradoyurt.com. Additionally, we would love to see any photos of your final yurt build. Thanks again for choosing Colorado Yurt Company and have a fantastic day.